Thanks for the being select the theaters and on Amazon Prime Video tomorrow. Congrats on the film. It Thank takes you. some real Thank twists you. and turns. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what it's about and who you play. Uh, this was one of my the, the best scripts I'd ever read. It reminded me of like classic um, John Le Carre, just really mm. elegant, good uh, spy fiction. Mm. And it's a great whodunit, but it has a really deep kind of Casablanca um, uh, English patient love affair at the center of it. And it revolves around these two characters. They're both spies at the Vienna station in Austria. And in 2012, a terrorist attack goes down, and it's a, it's a bad thing. Um, but 10 years later, Lawrence Fishburne, who plays the head of station, is uh, inquiring about certain inconsistencies that happened during that time. And it turns out that it looks like there's a mole in uh, the agency. So this dinner between she and I is about two old friends and lovers trying to suss out if one of them is the actual mole. Is the mole. Yeah. And there's some, there's some steamy love scenes. Yes, in, sir. In the film. And you worked yes, for the sir. first time with a, an intimacy coordinator. How was very that? What was that it's like? It's a very strange experience. I mean, it's the first time that, I guess in my professional life, that that's happened. You usually work it out with the actress and the director, and it's a closed set, so you feel, you know, a certain sense of privacy or uh, respect. But... The, this new inclusion of the intimacy coordinator, you know, you're rehearsing a scene, you're trying to figure it out, and it's awkward and bizarre as it always is, and then you just have this little woman tapping you on the shoulder going, no, I don't think, um, I don't think you would wrap your arm around her quite like that. <laughs> and just giving you notes about how to have sex, essentially, which is like, you know, I've been doing it for a bit. Yeah. I think I can, I think I can yeah. find my way around there. But, yeah. um, but, you know, it's great. It's like having a referee and a, a choreographer all at the same time. And really, her, her, her primary task is making sure, A, it looks good, everybody's comfortable, um, it looks good on camera. So everything down to the most micro move is where the hand goes. I'd actually quite like this in my marriage. <laughs> I'd actually yeah. quite like someone yeah. to come in and just say, no, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. Just, that's it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Just realizing I'm telling you this while my mother and father in law are in the audience. Say that right there. I just came out with a joke. Ignore me. Oh my God. Ignore me. Ignore me. It's made me warm. I forgot. You need your warm. I forget it. Stop. <laughs> Carrying on. Plowing ahead. Um, now, Jamie, you are what? you are busier than ever Why at the moment. Why do you yell at me? You yell at me. Why can't you go like Jamie? Well, I do in normal life. Jamie, you're and I'm trying to talk over these. I know trousers. they make noise. But they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, you are busier than ever I at am. the moment. How do you decide uh, what you're going to do next? Oh, I don't. I'm, I don't. I don't. As you can tell, <laughs> I don't think very much. I just sort of. I don't really have a plan. I honestly, I take every job that comes <clears throat> to me. Honestly, most. If a job is coming to me, there's a reason for it. Right. I love so, that. I just. Most things that I do are the things that they've asked me to do. Yeah. And all those other movies where you go, well, you know, she would have been good in that. They didn't ask me. Right. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, it's just sort of, I've always, I, you know, I'm from horror movies and stuff. Sure. You're just happy to have a gig. Yeah. And I just am happy to have a gig. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, I'm very excited about this. Chris, you're about to direct your yeah, first feature. Yeah, you're baby. acting in the film as well. I think you're yeah. going to make a brilliant director. I have I, absolute man, faith I, in you. I, I do. Thank you. I know. Have you... And I imagine you've been thinking about this for a long time. Long have time. you thought about what kind of actor you're going to be? I see scarves. So a lot of scarves. scarves. As a director? A of, just a lot of scarves. Scarves. As a director, yeah. not an actor. Constant yeah, putting jod, on and yeah, taking Yeah, jodhpurs, a little monocle. Yes, correct. And like a, one of those old-fashioned... Yeah, uh, you but know. are you going to be the type of... Are you going to say action and cut? You I have no idea. I, I, these are one of these practical things I haven't really uh, figured out. I mean, first of all, acting 101, never direct another actor. I mean, it's just like you know, not, not to be done. So I don't know how to be particularly in a scene. If I'm going to be calling action and then I call cut, but what if it's like an intense scene? So I just, I'm, then I pop out of it. I'm not really, no, I'm not, I, don't, I don't know these things yet. Chris, imagine we're about to start the scene. Practice your first action now. So we're getting ready. How are you two guys doing? Everything good? I'm just in character now. So. Remember, Jamie, that James is he's very fragile. He 
He's very fragile. Very fragile. Um, yeah. But he's strong. He's strong and fragile mm. at the same time. And also remember. Remember. I feel like Jamie's it's getting quite a lot of them. Abby. James, just yeah. try to get through the scene. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and action. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs>